Here is a video of me uh, in 2009 at the very last concert at Giant Stadium in which I was interviewed for the CBS News at 6 o'clock after I had called out of school sick and my teacher knew it the next day. Here she goes. Bruce Springsteen and the E Street Band will play the final show at Giant Stadium tonight, and fans could not be more excited to hear those historic final notes. This is really memorable, too. To see the boss at the last concert at Giant Stadium, I mean, there's nothing. Before I was even born, I was listening to Bruce Springsteen, and that's where it all started. Pittsburgh was my 11th time seeing him, and then I am seeing him in Columbus in two days, and that will be my 12th time, oddly enough, on April 12th. So the shirt I'm wearing I actually found on the internet randomly one day, and uh, being from New Jersey, uh, I have an unspoken and almost unmatched amount of pride for the state I'm from. Um, not a lot of people like it, we don't like a lot of other people, but it's where I'm from, it's home, and there's nothing I would change. And knowing that Bruce came out of the swamps in New Jersey and, I mean, made a revolution in rock and roll and is now one of the biggest names in rock and roll. Um, knowing that he's from New Jersey and I'm from around the same area, it's, uh, it's always nice to have that uh, upper leg when anyone says uh, nothing good ever comes out of New Jersey because if they say that, they've never listened to Bruce. Uh, my favorite album by Bruce is probably Darkness on the Edge of Town. Um, it has a really, just kind of deep feeling to it, and not so much where it's like sad, but I, you can just kind of perfectly visualize the stories as the album progresses, uh, and then Racing in the Street, one of my favorite Bruce songs, definitely a top five for me, uh, is right in, right in the middle of the album, and it's just a perfect segue um, to lead right into the second half of the album with a bunch of other great songs. My mom was the biggest driving factor I had. She uh, she seen Bruce about 80 times, roughly. Um, and oddly enough, every single one of those times, but her most recent Bruce show was in the state of New Jersey or New York. And when I say New Jersey and New York, I mean like Jersey City and New York City, pretty much exclusively. And her most recent show was with me. Uh, on Bruce's current tour, the River Tour, up in Pittsburgh, he opened the uh, he opened the tour in Pittsburgh, and that was her only concert outside of the New York and New Jersey area. Uh, Bruce's music has had a huge, huge impact on my life. Um, I mean, I definitely haven't lived like a tattered and torn life by any standard, but I mean, obviously, everyone goes through tough times, and Bruce just has a way of speaking to you through his music that just kind of puts everything in perspective, um, especially recently uh, with him going on tour, supporting the river and playing it in full. Um, I had never, I mean, I listened to the album obviously, but I had never really delved very deeply into it. And once I did, uh, after like a couple things that had happened to me recently, um, it's just an album about, like it's a 20 song album and it has everything in it, it has just Marriage, breakups, divorce, tough times, um, not having any money, and just a bunch of stuff like that, and it just wraps everything in life together, and it just makes me just have a sense of like level-headedness almost, and uh, it's a really, really 
awesome thing that, again, I mean, he can just do through his music. His music, they aren't so much lyrics on a page, they're a story in your head, and you can visually watch the story. And it's, I, it's, it's absolutely unbelievable.